We just talked about how oligopolies usually lead to an outcome that's in between perfect competition and monopolies. A good example of this happening in the real world involves smartphones. It's now almost impossible to imagine life without smartphones. You can make calls, text, look up directions, edit a calendar, and browse the web. I know when my phone breaks, it feels like losing a limb. What's especially crazy is that smartphones became so important so fast. Before 2007, they didn't even really exist. That all changed when Apple released the iPhone. There were other phones out there that could send emails, but the iPhone was an entirely new type of product because of how powerful, versatile, and easy to use it was. This was great for Apple because it gave them monopoly over smartphones, but the fun didn't last forever. Within a few years, other manufacturers started copying Apple, releasing phones that could do all the same things. Companies like Samsung are now major competitors. The smartphone industry therefore quickly turned from monopoly into an oligopoly. Can we see this effect in the price of smartphones? Absolutely. When Apple released its first iPhone in 2007, it charged $599 if you bought the top model. But industry experts estimated that it only cost Apple about $178 to make the phone. This means Apple made a huge profit on each phone it sold, and it still sold over 6 million units. But as competitors entered, this put pressure on Apple. By 2013, Apple released the iPhone 5S. If you buy the best iPhone 5S model, it now costs about $399. That's $200 drop in price from the original model. And the costs are basically unchanged. The estimated cost to manufacture an iPhone 5S is about $198. Over time, the smartphone industry went from monopoly to oligopoly. And we could see that in Apple's pricing and profits. The price dropped as competitors entered, and Apple's profit margins did too.